WJZ is live right now. Megan McCorkle explains protesters still gathered today at the State House and what they are calling for. Megan? Well, Vic, many of those protesters say they just want to see changes in the electoral process. God bless America. Breaking into song outside the governor's office, protesters make their voices heard before Maryland's electoral college cast their ballots. I hope that they uh, vote their conscience and realize that this man is uh, unfit to represent the United States. We're very concerned about this country and we want our country to know that there are people out here who are willing to give voice to our concerns. The group calling for electors across the country to change the outcome of the presidential race and reject Donald Trump. I think it's really important that my generation's voice gets heard, the millennials get heard. I felt it was important to express solidarity with our brothers and sisters across the nation, particularly those in the battleground states. I vote today for Hillary Rodden Clinton. Here in Maryland, where Hillary Clinton won more than 60% of the vote, all 10 electors cast their votes for the first woman ever nominated by a major political party. It's an emotional moment for many, many women in this country, in this state. Clinton won the popular vote, but fell to Trump in the electoral vote. Even members of Maryland's own electoral college say they'd like to see changes in the process. It's disenfranchising for many people when one candidate wins by more than 2.8 million votes and is not president. And so I think we, we should look at it. Maryland's votes will now be sent to the U.S. Senate and vice president to be counted. And the results of the electoral vote will be officially certified on January 6th during a joint session of Congress. Reporting live, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you. Maryland is one of just six states to vote in every electoral college since 1789.